Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg and in today's project video I am going to be making some Valentine's Day decorations. Thanks for joining me for another project video on the Laser Channel. Let's get started by covering the machine and the materials I'll be using for today's project. This is the S1 Laser Machine by Xtool. This machine features a nice eye-friendly lid along with a very powerful 40 watt laser module. For this project, I recommend any laser dial machine 10 watts or more. The material that I'll be using I got from the Dollar Tree. This is two and a half millimeter thick plywood. Feel free to substitute any other type of plywood and even poster board or cardboard. I'll be adding a splash of color to this project using some iron lac spray paint. I have some red paint. I really like using the iron lac spray paint because it usually goes on in only one coat. It coats nice and evenly and the paint is thick enough that it doesn't seep into the pores of the wood requiring additional coats. Next, we're going to head into the computer and I'm going to share where I found the graphic files for today's projects. Each one of these project files I source from a different area. The first graphic I found using Xtool Creative Space, I went to Xtool Projects, I clicked on Occasions. From all these choices, I specifically am looking for Valentine's projects. As I scroll down, I find the project that I like, and I can click on Download the File. And here's that Download button. If I don't yet have an Xtool, Log it, I'll need to create that. That is free, and then I'll be able to download the file. We're going to note that this project file was originally created for the Xtool P2 laser machine. This is the S1 machine, and I'm going to show you how to get that remedied when we start this project. I find that the Xtool Creative Space is a great place to find inspiration and project files. Before I start this first project, I also want to show you the other source where I find free project files. My other favorite source for free graphics files is pixabay.com. I create a free login account and from there I'm able to download the file. We'll see that I have the options of that PNG picture file or a vector file in the form of an SVG. My personal preference and recommendation is wherever possible an SVG file because not only can I engrave that file, I can also cut that file out if I wish to. I'm back in Xtool Creative Space and let's open that first file that I downloaded. And once this loads in, we're going to see that my S1 laser machine has been disconnected. We're going to see in the corner that it's now saying the P2 Xtool laser machine. This is going to be perfectly normal. And to remedy this, I'm just going to click on connect device. Computer is going to go out and search for this machine once again. That pops up and I'll just say connect to it. And this is just a dialog box saying, confirming that we're switching machines from the P2 to the S1. We'll see that the person who created this file and uploaded it to Xtool Projects put a lot of nice notes in. Today's project, I'm only interested in the graphic in the middle of the work area. That means the rest of the graphics on the screen, I can simply delete those out. The easiest way I can do this is I'll expand the layer tab and click on a layer that I don't need and I can delete all of that all at once. And I'll just do this for all the layers that I do not need. The next thing I'm going to do is place some material inside of the machine. I wanna make the best use of my work material. For that, I need to be able to place my graphic from the software as close to the work material edge as possible. To do this, the Xtool Creative Space software and the S1 laser machine has a really neat built-in tool. 
The first step is to set the focus of the laser. I'll click on this icon and this will set the focus of the laser machine. Next, I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen to start marking. When I click on that, it's going to bring up another dialog box and it's going to ask me the shape of the processing area or the shape of the material that's inside of the machine. In our case, it's going to be a circle and click on start marking. From here, I'll follow the diagram on the screen and I am going to start up in this corner. I'm going to put the crosshairs right at the edge of the circle and hit the blue button in the front. It took that point. And the next point is going to be to the opposite side and slightly down. And then lastly, I'll go mostly down and just over a little bit. That looks good. With that complete, we'll see that my three dots that I set up for measurement matches on the diagram. That looks good, and I'll hit end marking. This looks good, and I'll click on done. With those two easy steps complete, we'll see in the Creative Space software, I have an outline now of my work material. This is pretty cool. From here, I can select my graphic and place that up close to the edge. Maybe right here looks good. Next, I need some good cut settings. Off camera, I grabbed a spare piece of material that I had and found some good cut settings. I also saved that within the menu system of the software. I put that in the drop down menu right here. I find that if I'd like to save something else, I can click on this icon right to the side and I can rename these new settings as something else. A minute or two later and the cutout is complete. Let's check it out. And everything cut out perfectly. For now, I'm going to place this off to the side and we're going to start the second project with that graphic that I got from pixabay.com. Before I import the graphic from Pixabay, I'm going to take the graphic from the first project. I don't want to delete this because then within the Creative Space software, I'm not going to know where on the work material I made that first project. Instead, I'm going to click on that graphic and tell the software to ignore that. I can still see it in the software, but when I go to cut out this project number two, it won't recut that first project. Now I'm ready to import that SVG file from Pixabay. The size of the SVG file from Pixabay was very, very large and I have a dialog box that pops up when I import it and it's going to ask me if I want to scale that graphic to fit the canvas or the work area of the S1 machine. I do want to do that and this is going to be true for every time this occurs. So I'm going to have this remember my choice, scale it to the canvas. I only want my graphic to be about 75 millimeters tall. For this second project, not only do I want to engrave the flowers that make up this heart shape, I also want to cut this out as a heart. To do this, I'm going to navigate to the side of the screen under shape, and I'm going to click on heart. And that's automatically going to import a heart into the workspace. Right now the height is 35 millimeters and change and I want to change that to 80 millimeters. I'm going to right click on the heart and move this to a different colored layer. This is my preference to help me keep track of what layers are being cut versus what are being engraved. 
even though this is a pretty simple project and easy to keep track of, as I work on larger projects that have more elements to them, this is a great practice to help separate what is going to be engraved versus what is going to be cut. From here, I can grab the heart and place it over the graphic. I'm going to grab the graphics and move this to the edge of the work material along with being close to the first project that we worked on. When we saw in the beginning of this video, this second project was also painted, but it was painted first and then engraved. To accomplish this, I'm going to highlight just the engraving, and for right now, I'm going to tell it to ignore that. The end result is it's only going to cut the heart shape out. What we're going to do is do the cutout. I'm then going to spray the red color on it. Then we're going to put it back inside the machine without moving anything. And we're going to turn off the cut layer and turn on the engraving layer. Neat little trick that I learned a while ago that I'm sharing with you today. This looks good. I'll click on process. And what we should see in the process window will be just the heart cutout. That's exactly what I have, and I can hit start. I'll remove the heart without moving the rest of the material. I'm going to take the heart I just removed along with the heart from the first project. I'm going to take these two and take them outside and get some red spray paint on them and I'll see you in just a minute. It hasn't even been five minutes and the paint is already dry. I'm going to place the heart back inside the machine. And this will very snugly fit right back in place. Back inside Xtool Creative Space, I'm going to first start out by highlighting just that cut layer we did, and now I'm going to switch that to ignore. Next, I'm going to highlight that engraving layer, and I'm going to switch that from ignore back to output, and now I can hit the start button and start the engraving and finish this project. I can't wait to see how this looks. Looking good so far. I'll get that carefully removed. And this looks absolutely perfect. Let's check this out. Nice close up. Check out all that beautiful clean detail. The two projects in today's video, they turned out absolutely perfect. They were quick, they were easy, and most of all, they were fun. The first project that we took a look at was designed for the P2 laser machine from Xtool. If you'd like to see content on the P2 laser machine by Xtool, let me know by leaving a comment and we'll see what the laser channel can do about getting some content with the P2 laser machine. I hope that you enjoyed today's project video. If you did, please consider giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. Doing so helps the channel out, but more so it's a great way of connecting content like this with other like-minded viewers just like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.